chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point for dvd pen drive please write an email to me these videos they do not require internet they play offline there is no problem of buffering and please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you thank you for your support once again let us solve more questions on pythagoras theorem centroid in center these are all exam level questions in a right angled triangle abc angle b is 90 degrees let us draw the triangle first angle b is 90 degrees and bn is perpendicular to ac this is ac so we have to draw a bn perpendicular to ac ab is 6 cm this is given as 6 cm and ac is 10 this complete length is 10 cm then the ratio of an to nc is what this is the question so if we take the length of an as m and the length of nc as n then we have to find out m by n what is the value of m by n there are two methods of solving this question i will solve them by both the methods so let us first of all solve it by method 1 we will use trigonometry for this trigonometry because a basic knowledge of trigonometry would be required for this and this would be a shortcut method for this m and n are assumed to be this and let us assume this angle to be theta if this angle is theta then this is a right angled triangle and therefore this will be 90 minus theta 90 minus theta and since this is also 90 degrees this angle also turns out to be theta so this is theta and this is theta we can forget about this because it was used for intermediate so abc is one right angle triangle this is one right angle triangle and this is one right angle triangle keep in mind that whenever you have questions of this type that there is a right angle triangle and a perpendicular is drawn to the hypotenuse then you should see it as three triangles which are all right angle triangles and always it pays if you mark this angle as theta and this angle as theta there are many many questions based on the same same setup a right angle triangle and a perpendicular drawn i have seen many questions of this type being asked in all the previous years papers and this is what we have done in this question also this theta and this theta which is what we have done so far another thing is that this outer triangle is a right angle triangle one of its side is 6 the other is 10 let us for our future need let us calculate the side bc also because it is calculatable we can do it on the rough side draw a small triangle this is 6 this is 10 and we have to find out this by pythagoras theorem we can see that if we assume this as l then l square plus 6 square should be equal to 10 square the square of hypotenuse which implies l square should be equal to this is 100 take this 36 to the other side this becomes 64 therefore l should be equal to 8 cm so this side should be 8 cm we can write it and mark it here because it will be of use to us now let us start exploring our triangles we'll start with this one in this triangle we can see that n 
is equal to 8 cos theta because n is the base of this triangle. Theta is this angle and this is the hypotenuse. So we can write n is equal to 8 cos theta. This is one thing that is available to us. And let us side by side have a look at this triangle also. M is the perpendicular side, theta is the opposite angle and 6 is the opposite side. So we can write M is equal to 6 sin theta. If you are still not able to visualize, we can draw these triangles. I will take up this triangle first separately. This is this triangle. This is the 90 degrees and this is the angle theta. Then this is n, this is 8. You have to just invert this triangle. So in this case, n has been taken equal to 8 cos theta equation 1. Likewise, if we have a look at this triangle, then this triangle can be seen like this. This m is this one. This theta is this one and this 6 is here. So m is equal to 6 sin theta. Now we need m by n. So divide, divide equation 2 by equation 1. So what do we get? m by n is equal to, this will be 6 sin theta by 8 cos theta which is equal to 6 by 8 into tan theta. Tan theta is sin theta by cos theta so we have written it as tan theta. Now if we look at this complete triangle, this bigger triangle, tan theta is perpendicular divided by base so we can write it as this 6 by 8 comes as such multiplied by this tan theta will be perpendicular by base 6 by 8 which now we can make some cancellations 2 3 2 4 2 3 so it becomes 9 by 16 which is the answer so we have seen that trigonometry can be used to solve this question you should always have a complete knowledge of all the subjects even though this is a question of Pythagoras theorem but it has a requirement for trigonometry which when used it helped us arrive at a question within a second. Let us solve this question by a second method. Let us see how to do it. I will erase the board and draw the diagram again. This is our right angle triangle ABC. This is 90 degrees and a perpendicular has been drawn here. This is theta and this angle is theta. Both are theta and we can even mark this angle as alpha and then this will also be alpha because if this is 90 minus theta then this is theta then the third angle must be equal for this triangle as well as this triangle in one way we can see or otherwise this is 90 so if this is theta this is alpha then this alpha and this alpha have to match with each other. Let us also note down what we have been given this is 6 this entire is 10 this we calculated as 8 this we assumed m this we assumed as n. So we will solve this by a second method this method will use the similarity of two triangles which we have not yet covered but if you have some idea of similarity then you will be able to understand what I am trying to say here. So we will start by assuming this leg as P and now let us draw this triangle separately outside. This I will draw it like this. This is here this is theta, this is m, this is 6 and this is p and we can say this is alpha and this is 90 degrees. Let us also draw this angle triangle neatly outside. 
so when this is drawn and this is taken as theta then this side will be p this hypotenuse is 8 and this is n and this is alpha and this is 90 so this triangle you can see can be drawn like this and this triangle you can see can be drawn like this so now we have two triangles this one triangle this second triangle their angles are all equal alpha alpha theta theta 90 90 so they are similar triangles similar triangles if triangles are similar then the ratios of the corresponding sides are always equal so what does this mean this means 6 by 8 will be equal to m by p which will be equal to p by n so this ratio system we will have we have to establish a relation between m and n we do not need p so what we will do is we will try to eliminate p first of all we will take this equations find out the value of p keep it aside then we will make use of first and third relation find out the value of p and then equate those values we will be able to eliminate b p let us be let us see how i am saying first of all take these two 6 by 8 is equal to m by p which implies p is equal to you can take p to the other side 8 and 6 will follow this way so we can write this as sorry this is 6 as equation 1 now let us take this and this we get 6 by 8 is equal to p by n take out p so this can be easily done you can just move n to the other side p is equal to 6 n by 8 this is the second equation what we can do is we can equate them so p will disappear and m and n will be left 8 m by 6 is i'll write equating these two equations 8m by 6 should be equal to 6n by 8 which implies so what i'll do is i'll bring n down 6 there and 8 down m by n is equal to 6 into 6 by this 8 into 8 so this again i can cancel out and i will get the same answer that i got previously so whichever approach you follow you must have noticed that i took out these two triangles separately and then either i applied trigonometry or i applied similarity of triangles the answer comes out to be the same in fact there is a third method also which involves using purely pythagoras theorem only but that method becomes so complicated so tough that it actually results into a quadratic equation that is so long that is why i have not taken it up here so it is better to use it by similarity or by trigonometry because the intent of the examiner was that you use either of these two approaches because the question is hardly for one minute and these two approaches they help you solve it easily let us now take to our next question in a triangle the base is 6 k root of 3 centimeter and the two base angles are 30 and 60 the height of the triangle is what let us first of all draw a triangle schematic for the triangle we can draw either way so he says the base is 6 k root of 3 we can take this as the base side any side could have been taken as the base and the two base angles now base angles means this is attached angle is 60 this is attached to the base this is also attached to the base so these are the base angles that have been given as 60 and 30 we have to find out the height of this triangle that is if we have to draw a perpendicular on this this side then we have to find out the height of this perpendicular 
one thing we can notice that if this is 60 this is 30 they add to 90 degrees so this angle obviously will be 90 degrees because only then the sum of the interior angles of the triangle be 180 degrees so this is a right angle triangle which is lying on its hypotenuse the length of which is 6 square root of 3 and we have to find out the height of this one. Very little information has been given to us. We will not be in a position to apply Pythagoras theorem because only one side has been given to us. We do not have too much information so as to be able to apply Pythagoras theorem. So we will definitely have to think a bit of out of the box. The first thing that strikes me is the case of an angle in a semicircle. See what I am trying to say. If this is a circle and this is a diameter and if I draw a triangle in the upper part of this circle then this triangle will always be a 90 degrees triangle. This is a property of a circle that angle in a semicircle is always 90 degrees. So let us now transfer this situation to here and mark this as 60 degrees, mark this as 30 degrees and this entire thing that is the diameter has been given to us as 6 k root of 3. Now we have to find out this height h. So now if this is the center of this circle, we can join this point to the center of this circle. Now from this point this is radius and from this point this is also radius. Therefore this triangle if you are seeing this triangle then this triangle is an isosceles triangle with this as 60 and therefore this angle will also be 60 degrees. Because this side is same as this side and therefore this angle should be also 60 degrees. Now if two angles are 60, the third one obviously has to be 60 degrees. So what we have so far is that, let me transfer now this out to a third place. I have a story like this. This is 60, this is 60 and this is also 60 and the length of this side is now what half of 6 k root of 3. Because 6 k root of 3 is the entire diameter, we are interested in only half of this. So this will be 3 k root of 3. So I now have an equilateral triangle in which the side is equal to 3 k root of 3. So let me now drop a perpendicular at this point and let the height of this be h. And since this is equilateral, this side will also be 3 k root of 3. And this part, only this part, this perpendicular will bisect this. A property of the equilateral triangle is that a perpendicular from the vertex to the opposite side divides the side into two equal parts. So this much portion will be, only this much portion will be half of this. So I can write it as 3 by 2 square root of 3. So if I concentrate only on this triangle, then in this I have 3 square root of 3, 3 by 2 square root of 3 and h. I can now easily apply Pythagoras theorem. Let us do so. The square of this 3 square root of 3 whole square should be equal to this h square plus this one. So which implies this one will be 9 3 square is 9 and this square root of 3 will be 3 which is equal to h square plus this will be likewise 9 into 3 by 4 2 into 2 is 4 3 into 3 is 9 and this one is 3. So which we can now see is 27 this one minus bring this 27 by 4 to this side is equal to h square. So I can now write it at any place. I will find some vacant space here. So h square is equal to 27 
ट्वेंटी सेवन इंटू फोर माइनस वन बाय फोर आई हैव टेकन दिस फोर एज एलसीएम ट्वेंटी सेवन इज कॉमन सो इट इज फोर माइनस वन सो इट विल बी ट्वेंटी सेवन इंटू थ्री बाय फोर विच वी कैन राइट इट एज नाइन इंटू थ्री स्केयर बाय फोर सो ऑब्वियसली वेन वी टेक आउट दिस स्केयर रूट एच विल बिकम स्केयर रूट ऑफ नाइन विल बी थ्री स्केयर रूट ऑफ थ्री स्केयर विल बी थ्री एंड दिस फोर विल बिकम टू सो वी विल गेट नाइन बाय टू इक्वल टू फोर पॉइंट फाइव इज द आंसर सो बेसिकली आई हैड एच स्केयर इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी सेवन इंटू थ्री बाय फोर यू कैन सी इट अदर वे ऑल्सो एट्टी वन बाय फोर एंड स्केयर रूट ऑफ दिस वुड बी नाइन बाय टू सो दिस वॉज वन ऑफ द वेज ऑफ सॉल्विंग दिस अनदर वे कुड हैव बीन दैट एट दिस पॉइंट यू जस्ट यूज ट्रिग्नोमेट्री दिस ट्राइंगल इज ए ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक ट्राइंगल सो एच विल बी इक्वल टू थ्री स्केयर रूट ऑफ थ्री इंटू साइन ऑफ सिक्सटी एंड वी नो साइन ऑफ सिक्सटी इज स्केयर रूट ऑफ थ्री बाय टू सो लाइक वाइज द आंसर वुड बी सेम इफ यू वॉन्ट टू यूज पाइथोगरस यू कैन डू दिस इफ यू वॉन्ट टू यूज ट्रिग्नोमेट्री यू कैन डू दिस बट इन एनी केस रिमेंबर दैट इफ ए ट्राइंगल एज सिक्सटी थर्टी एज इट्स एंगल्स देन यू कैन पुट इट इन टू अ सर्कल एंड मेक यूज ऑफ ए इक्वलेटरल ट्राइंगल बींग फॉर्म्ड हेयर यू कैन रिमेंबर दिस आर्टिफिस ऑल दो इट वॉज वेरी इजी फॉर मी टू से दैट दिस इज एन इक्वल दिस इज ए ट्राइंगल विद नाइनटी सिक्सटी एंड थर्टी इट्स सर्कुल सेंटर लाइज हेयर एंड आई हैव नॉट यूज प्री प्री कुकड कॉन्सेप्ट हेयर I have tried to take you through the entire process. Knowing the entire process is more helpful in many situations. So you should know that a triangle of this type can be put into a circle and this is an equilateral triangle which will always be helpful in simplifying our situations. Let us now move on to our next question.